Today I wanted to show you how you can use actions and batch processing within Photoshop to convert uh, high quality archival TIFF images into JPEGs that are suitable for viewing on the web. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, a bit about how actions work and, and show you some of the power that they have. So if your actions tab uh, right here isn't shown in Photoshop, you can simply go over to a window and uh, go to actions. Uh, clicking that's actually going to hide mine, but you can click this little play button here and get it back as well. Um, so actions can do a number of different things. Here's an action that I actually download from the internet uh, that helps you uh, create 3D renderings of uh, books. So just to show you how it works, uh, there are two actions in this set. The first one creates the template that you design. And so I'm going to uh, change this template up a bit here. Let me get my layers in. And I'm going to just add a box in so we can see the color of the, uh, of the book. So get a rectangle tool, got a color there. going to edit the background here and I'm just going to add a big box of color. All right, and so assuming I've designed up my ebook here, I'm going to run the action that converts it to an ebook. So you'll see Photoshop doing all sorts of things uh, automatically now. And these are all actions that are recorded. And now if I go to uh, to my layers, I'm going to turn off this layer here and this one here. Um, and you see I've got an ebook complete with a shadow, uh, 3D, a little bit of glow here as well. So now you can see that uh, Actions can do lots of powerful things. We're going to do something much, much simpler with our Actions, so we're not going to save this. So I have a set of TIFFs here on my desktop that are ready to be converted into JPEGs that are suitable for the web. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of them. And that open in preview, so we want to make sure we uh, open that in Photoshop. And I'm going to create a new folder for my actions. I'm going to call this uh, Digital Library. And you might want to create other actions that you would associate with this set. And now I'm going to create a new action. The new action button is right here. And I'm going to call this TIFF to JPEG good description of exactly what it does and I'll add it to that folder and you see that we are now recording our action so the first what I want to do is uh, since screens render at 72 dpi and uh, these are actually extremely large photos you can see uh, we're already at 3200 uh, pixels at this point in the image it's a rather large image um, I'm going to go into image and, uh, and image size and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to take my by percentage, I'm going to take this down to about 50% in size. Um, and then I'm going to take my resolution down to 72 pixels per inch. That's the maximum that most uh, monitors can support. So I will click OK. And now I'm going to do a file and uh, save as. And tell it instead of a TIFF, I would like to have a JPEG. And I am going to press save. And it'll ask me some options for my my JPEG. Um, I have some options uh, for the web. I can use some uh, optimization. I can also tell it to uh, download progressively so that um, the image loads quickly but uh, gets more or less grainy and more finely detailed as more of it loads, but I'm going to keep it as the, the baseline standard. Go ahead and click OK. You notice we're going from about an 8.2 megabyte TIFF down to a 72 kilobyte uh, JPEG, which is nice and suitable for viewing in a large size in our digital library. So I'm going to click OK, and now you'll notice my folder that has been saved. And I'm going to stop recording my action. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move these two images out of this folder. Uh, and you'll see why in just a moment. And switch back to Photoshop. And I am going to go to File, Automate, and then Batch. And it's already realized that Digital Library was just recorded. So 
Uh, the thing I want to do is I want to do my tip to JPEG from Digital Library. I choose a folder as my source. I can also choose to import as well. So import would actually allow me to import different uh, types of formats, but we're going to do a folder here. We're going to choose the TIFFs folder that's actually already selected, and we'll press choose. And because I recorded in my action that I want to save the file as a JPEG, I don't need to choose a destination. So I'm actually going to uh, say no destination here. So have selected my folder they're coming from, the TIFF folder. We're going to do a TIFF to JPEG process. I'm going to click OK, and you're going to see the images load and process very quickly. And you'll see right over here that JPEGs are being added to my folder. Uh, this is an interesting error. I haven't seen this before, but uh, I'm going to go and click OK and see what it'll do. All right, so it uh, looks like we uh, made it through most of our images. Yes, we did. These are organized by type. So here's all my JPEGs, here's all my TIFFs. So I can actually click here and close all these items together. And I've created my JPEGs. And I'll just go through and you'll notice we have a nice set of small JPEGs that are ready and suitable for the web, along with the folder of our, our large images that are our, our archival originals. And of course, uh, with actions, you can really record anything that you can do in Photoshop using these actions. So if you had an adjustment that you wanted to do across your entire set of images, so you want to do some color balancing, or you wanted to add some filters, or anything that you could do in Photoshop, uh, you could record that into an action. So I hope this has been helpful to you, and uh, please do let me know if you have any questions that you think I could help you with.